I tell the weavers as a joke that I'm at kindergarten level. So they call me kinder, as in, Look at the kinder's mat. It's almost done. We weave inside a hut. The ocean faces us, tranquil, calm. Sometimes it rains. We weave. Terje always tells me, there should be no gaps. You have to pull up, then pull out, then pull up again. There's a gap over there. There's a gap between the words that I weave inside my own head. At some point, I didn't pull at the right words. Look, I missed a strand. I missed a strand, and now could we be unraveling? Has the day come when we talk? Maybe the day has come when we must talk. Because something is eating islands. There are islands dying. There are voices telling us to destroy thousand-year-old limbs like it's nothing. Like it's not another strand unraveling, like it's not another woman drowning, boulders tied to feet, body caged in a woven tomb. We missed the strand, and we named her monster. We tell stories about her teeth. We tell stories about how we saw a slit from her head down her back open, shark teeth lying in wait, edges sharp for consuming but we forgot, we forget, we missed a strand, we are all made of teeth. We are missing strands of women. Like a birth cord, buried and forgotten, beneath a pandanus tree, on Eiling Level Up. Terje grew up on Eiling Level Up. Young girl climbing coconut trees arguing to be able to fish, arguing to be able to go to school, but told to stay home, shackled to responsibilities, watch the children, tend the fire, cook the fish, scrub wet clothing against iron washboards until fingers bend, gnarl, twist, You are not a child. You are already a woman. 
12 years old enough to learn. Make yourself smaller. Make your needs smaller. 12 years old enough to accept sacrifice, a forced swallow down your throat. The first thing Dereji tells me when I arrived to learn Jagir weaving, she says, this type of weaving almost disappeared. She says, I need to write about how she revived it. Jerwale she says, you tell my story. How she pulled strands of leaves and patterns like stars unblinking from worn photographs in the old museum. Despite elders buried with the instruction still grasped between fingers, despite the absence of a teacher, she pulled from a void, from an emptiness, from a hunger within herself, and she created. Today I am back bent, aching over my first mat. Ugh. I am fingers awkward and uncoordinated, trying to ignore the sweat that lines the back of my legs, my neck, Can you feel the heat? Ugh. Can you see the ocean rising right in front of us? Can you hear the radio droning out news and announcements of hurricanes and catastrophes? Trump is pulling from the Paris Treaty. And I am all the way out here, sheltered by rain and a weather report that there will be no flooding today. We do not scramble to respond to the coming storm. We do not search for shelter. No one is applying for a loan to rebuild their home or asking their bosses for time off to clean the water from their kitchen floors. Sometimes I feel as if I am holding my breath, gasping for air, grasping for the right words. There's a gap over there, Dereje tells me. Like this, she says, like this. I try to understand, translating uneven, Patterns I try to weave, unravel. Later, a friend says, you're going back to your roots. As if I have an arrival. As if these are my roots, like they belong to me. When they never felt like mine. Still don't. Look, I missed a strand. We missed the strand, and we named her Lerro, a legend of women so overwhelmed with grief, they lose the ability to eat, to sleep, but gain the ability to fly. The most famous Lerro flew to Japan and brought back a sakura blossom. <coughs> the blossom came from the home of her lover who left her in grief. They found her by the edge of the reef, cradling the blossom in her hands. I had a dream that I could fly. In my dream, only the young could be taught to fly. 
I would grasp their palms and we would launch into the sky. What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? What are you trying to save? Here's another legend. In this legend, we are drunk off tequila. When you tell me what your father's friend did to you by the dinner table, Together, we sob. What are we trying to say? What are we trying to save? Family secrets sewn into the backs of our necks. The next day when we sober, I ask you, what happened to that man? And you tell me he was attacked by a shark. Our family's clan is the Rubego clan, the shark clan, known to pull the tides with their chants and sing songs to sharks. We forgot. We forget. We are made of so much teeth. There are missing strands of women. There are islands dying. There are voices telling us to destroy thousand-year-old limbs like it's nothing, like it's not another strand unraveling, like it's not another woman drowning, boulders tied to feet, body caged in a woven tomb. Here I am, Medinawar, because you name me monster. You name me bloody consequences and teeth when I am just a woman, when I am just angry, when I am just an angry woman. Here I am, Lerra, another legend woman. I grieve so deeply. I become air. I become nothing. I feed on sea foam and rest on the crest of waves. You thought I was mourning a lover, but how could you not know? This grief transcends this body. It is only the ocean consuming us. Here I am saving the best part of myself. This is what I think as I sink to the bottom, boulders tied to feet, body caged in a woven tomb. Did you hear? Did you hear what he did to her? What he did to me? This is why I turn away from those men in their canoes and I sink. This darkness recognizes my rage. Here I am, a monster. They branded me while they watched from shaking leaves, cowards. They tell stories about my teeth. They tell stories about how they saw a slit 
from my head down my back, open. Shark teeth, lying in wait. Sharpened edges for a fence. Don't come here. I had forgotten this, hadn't I? I had forgotten I am made of so much teeth. I am only reminded when I am cursed by those who I thought were my own. Those who cursed me monster and made me watch my child die. And I become a weightless animal flying into the sky. Here are our stories of avenging oceans, of sisters violated by men, of men ripped apart by sharks in ancient justice delivered between teeth, of family secrets that weigh down a pelvis that guides how women walk down dark paths star charts of who we can trust. What does it mean when the men who rip us apart look just like us? I had forgotten this, hadn't I? I had forgotten we are made of teeth. Brothers, why do we approach each other speaking tongues? Why do we pretend we are not nursing the same wounds? Why utter the guttural sounds that echo the fists of war? Why do we call for our own destruction? Sisters, when the men come, when they take us away, they wrap us in a woven mat. They tie boulders to our feet. They paddle to the end of the horizon. And they throw us overboard. They demand that we drown. They demand that we drown while they take the teeth from our mouths. Here I am, Medianaguar, swimming a lazy stroke around their canoe, refusing to drown. I watch as the men's faces turn to fear and the dawn of this new monster rising. Here we are, growing new teeth. We turn to meet the ocean. We welcome the darkness as we watch the women murdered before us and after us floating towards the sky. We welcome them as we turn towards the deep. Here is Medianaguar, swallowing our homes to save them. This is Lerro, flying to the sky and pulling our islands with her. These are the women we have made into monsters. <sighs> Some strands don't fit in the mat. Some strands snap, break. 
Some strands you pull and attempt to forget. Sometimes you want to tell different stories of women who leave when they recognize their men have become monsters, of women who blazed a pathway for themselves, of women who engineered the sail, opening a channel for her to pass through. There are proverbs. Women are peacemakers. Women have the ability to end wars. Women are the rudders of the canoe. Women guide the course of the family. Women are lightning. When a woman strikes, the storm clears. Women are baskets, baskets with an abundance of offering. Teraji says that when I weave, I need to be aware of everything around the strands, what has happened before, what has happened after. She says, I need to be like the women warriors from our past, vigilant.